Good morning. So this morning we're speaking to Dr. Mark Siebert. He's a gynecologist. And we're going to just be chatting around the COVID-19 and pregnancy. Um, there's a lot of, I'm sure a lot of moms are a bit scared and worried. So we're just going to tackle a few questions. And hopefully this will put you at ease. Okay. Good morning, morning Doctor. Anna. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. So we just want to find out or chat to you about the COVID-19, the crisis it's had on our health. And a lot of the pregnant moms are obviously worried. Should they be worried? Could you maybe give us, shed a little bit light on that? Yes, there's been this sense of anxiety among pregnant moms. Um, we know that pregnancy can be a little bit scary, um, especially if it's the first time. But what we do know is that pregnant moms are not at increased risk above any other person. Um, the COVID-19 disease seems to be very similar among pregnant moms as it is among the general population. So the risk factors still remain moms that have underlying medical conditions, um, chronic lung conditions, chronic heart conditions, um, chronic immunosuppression. Those are the moms who are a little bit at an increased risk. But in general, moms have a similar risk to the general population and the disease is usually self-limiting in pregnant ladies. Okay, great. That's good to know. And then are there any signs of COVID-19 in pregnancy? Any different signs? So the signs are similar to a general flu-like illness. Um, moms start feeling a bit ill, sore throat. Mm -hmm. um, they lose the loss of smell. They may get a bit of fever, a bit, a bit of muscle pain, similar to a, any other viral chest infection. Okay. So moms that are having mild infections should contact the hotline um, and then present for testing. Moms that are very sick need to then see a specialist for, for treatment. Okay, great. Are there any precautions that a mother can take um, to ensure that baby and herself are safe and healthy? Okay. So as a, a gynecologist, we usually look at a pregnancy in different stages because different stages have different impact for mom and for baby. So we divide the stages into what we call them trimesters. So the first trimester, it's a very important part for baby's development. So the first trimester is that stage from conception to about 12, 13 weeks of pregnancy. In that stage, we would strongly suggest that moms, well, isolate themselves, stay away from anyone having symptoms, take general precautions, wash hands often. Um, if you're going out into public, um, wear a face mask. And if you can carry around some hand sanitizer, sanitize hands often. Whenever touching something in public, as soon as you're done, sanitize your hands before you get into your vehicle, before you touch any of your personal items. So the basics are still social distancing. Stay away from people who are symptomatic. Keep in your household. Face mask whenever you leave the house. And wash and sanitize the hands as often as possible. Okay. Yep. Great. So it's like all of us. We all need to be doing, following the same rules. Yep. And is there any way that COVID-19 can affect your unborn baby? Well, of all the studies so far, and we are using data from overseas. In mm -hmm. South Africa, we don't have much data available at this time. So we use mostly the US and the European data. But all the studies that have been done have shown that there is no risk of mom passing the, ba um, the virus onto baby while baby's still inside. And with mothers that are maybe ill or have COVID-19, are they still able to breastfeed or breast pump? Okay. So... Although the virus doesn't come across the placenta to baby while baby is inside, we do know that with breastfeeding, there's close contact. So the delivery process itself is low risk. Okay, Mom won't pass any virus onto baby during the delivery process. But after delivery, with the close contact and breastfeeding, um, obviously mom will be breathing into the same space that baby's breathing. And we know this is a respiratory virus that is droplet spread. Um, so we encourage moms that are COVID positive, that have tested positive for the virus, to then wear a face mask while they are breastfeeding. It is still quite safe to wear a face mask. The breast milk does not um, carry across 
the virus to the baby. Okay, so the breast milk is actually good. We know that breast milk has a lot of good immunoglobulins and proteins that help boost baby's immune system. So we encourage breast milk as far as possible. But mom should still sanitize beforehand, wear a face mask while she's breastfeeding or having any other close contact with the baby. Um, with the issue of breast pumps, because the virus does not come across in the breast milk itself, when mom is using the breast pump, once again, wear a face mask, clean the, the breast pump thoroughly after use. Um, so as long as we sanitize properly, using a breast pump is just as safe as breastfeeding. Okay, great. Is there any other advice that you have for the mothers? Well, moms should look after their general health and immune system because that does help us um, to fight off viral illnesses. So a good diet, a healthy diet. If you can um, manage a bit of exercise, I know we're all in lockdown yeah. at home, but if you can exercise about 30 minutes a day, that does help get the nutrients and the blood flowing so that the nutrients is actually delivered to baby where baby needs it. Mm -hmm. And then to boost the immune system, there are two important vitamins. So vitamin C, if mom can get about a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in per day and about eight to 10 milligrams of zinc in per day, we know that these two vitamins do help boost the natural immune system. And there are a few products on the market that do do combinations, but you could get them on their own and just take it as a daily supplement. It will boost your natural immune system. Okay, great. So that's all we have for today. I hope this has helped all the pregnant mommies out there that may be worried or, you know, thinking about all of this and baby, but it seems like they'll be safe. Just take the precautions that we all have to take and look after yourself and sanitize, wash those hands and you'll be fine. Yep. That's the take home message. As long as we all stick to the rules, moms and babies will be fine. So I hope that does alleviate some of the fears the moms are having. <laughs>